<laughs> oh, huh. okay. Oh, the 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 event's live. The event's live. It finally, it finally happened. Let's do the event. All right, so that took a while to get started for technical reasons, but it looks like boss battles are here. And that's going to be a pretty interesting development. If you've played uh, Avengers Academy or Family Guy, the quest for stuff, these mechanics are going to seem very familiar. Um, but if you've only been playing Futurama, this is our first real proper boss. Let's go into the week three Omicronian invasion strategy. Let's check out these quests. Hey, Fry. Oh. My troops aren't getting the job done. I'll show the citizens of Earth what a real ruler looks like. Yes, they will surely cower in fear at your terrifying belly fat. Don't blame me. Blame the soda companies who exploit my instinctive urge for cheap high fructose corn syrup. I do blame the soda companies, and I told you to attack them, but somehow you just never found time for that now, now did you? Alright, Lur has landed, defeat Lur one time, have Professor stand his ground. Which is just a two hour ta action for you to do. Yada 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 yada, let's get all the quests going. What are you doing on the surface, Dwayne? Is it Mutant Spring Break or something? I heard there was an alien invasion, so I came up to take a look. Whatever happens on the surface, I'm sure the sewers will be fine. No, it won't. It's the domino effect. You stack a clean domino on top of a dirty domino and push the clean domino over, the dirty domino falls next. Trust me on this, I'm a high school political science teacher, dude. Alright. Mutant Dwayne is our first character. Uh, Violet is the other one. And there's another costume. We'll get to that in just a minute. Destructor, you have quests. Finally, welcome to the party. I am Destructor! <laughs> That's kind of what he sounds like. Destructor? <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm here to destroy New New York! <laughs> or try a new gelato place. Much depends on my mood. Um, okay, so that's just side quests. You can safely ignore those if you even have Destructor. That's just gonna be some nice busy work for when you move along. Uh, first things first, 24 hours is gonna be the cooldown on Lur. Ruler of the planet Omicron, Percy I-8. And he's going to have win streaks. As you progress along, he should give you progressively more items. But I guess we don't get to see what all those are specifically yet. Uh, Mecha Hermes is gonna be nice. I'm actually a little impressed that the premium characters don't seem to be involved yet. So if you are free to play, you're not that far behind, at least in regards to who can jump in on the fun. Uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do upon starting the map is to go into the leaderboards and place as many of these as you can. As usual, the buildings are going to be the most important, especially in giving you as many chances to get all of these drops as fast as you can. Um, and both Dwayne and Violet here are going to only be able to be picked up by putting stuff down. Getting all of these items will cost 27,700 weed cumulatively. I'm still about 3,000 weed short. Let's just put down as many of them as we can. Sandcastle. This is just a- oh, it's a little tiny decoration. That's terrible. You can go right here. But at least it's cheap. And let's immediately get Dwayne. He is- actually does come with a little dumpster, I think. We're gonna put you over by this. It is like- it's, it's not quite a dumpster, it's a little Please, shanty house. Not be frightened. We're harmless. And lots of stuff to collect. Most of which, a lot of which is going to come from Lur. Earl, Bender, and Leg Mutant can help collect Big Mutant Boy Burgers. Um, discarded Philosophy Books can be gotten from the Professor, Scruffy, and the Beige Block, which is another building. We'll put that up in just a second. And then Guitars comes from Bachelor Fry. And again, Tex1138, another prize ladder thing. So let's place as many of those down as we can. Just to help get those straight away. We're just gonna fill up this back row a little bit. 
We have the beige block building that also drops nice things that we need and is very boring. And that brings us to the sewer boiler, which has Violet. <clears throat> She's a delivery boy. I don't think I mentioned it, but Dwayne is an influencer. Kind of redundant, we're getting a lot of those. They are by far our most populated classes right now. And she has a lot of things to collect. Once again, sludge from defeating Lur. Uh, wedding veils from defeating Omicronian hounds. Those are new. I haven't seen those, where are those? Here's a hound. Hounds can only be fought by Dwayne, uh, Violet herself. And let's talk about the new skin, Leela! Leela has a skin! That's bad news for a lot of players! If you remember Lee Lemon from the episode War is the H Word, it is Leela pretending to be a guy who Zap Brannigan then immediately fell in love with. And who can blame him? Lee Lemon, sir. Lemon, you're a man's man. You're a man's man's man. And more importantly, your hand, while firm and masculine, is soft as a velvet child. But one, not only is it Leela, who a lot of people don't have, as she's the furthest progressed character you could possibly have at this point, she's yet another delivery boy, and she costs 220 pizza. And maybe the thought process is that premium players are much more likely to be far enough along in the game that they would actually be willing to cash in on a premium character and free-to-play characters who don't have Leela would be maybe more likely to not buy this anyway so that way it's not as wasted I, I, I don't know but I am gonna buy her 220 pizza let's go a, natural. a manly man guy reporting for duty you get a quest Lee yes you do Private Lee Lemon, reporting for duty. Leela, is that you? Why on earth are you dressed like that? I want to help fight the invasion, and this is the only one anyone will take me seriously. Not at all. Being a male soldier just makes it easier for some sergeant to throw your life away. You're like human candy corn. Um, okay. So, again, she gets side quests. You know how testosterone is. I like that she has different voice lines pretending to be a man. That's a nice touch. Uh, wind up her gun, man up, and so only two animated tasks. But that's alright. She's gonna be immensely useful in the coming Omicronian Wars. Okay, that's a start. Alright, let's go ahead and buy the Sphinx. And put it with the rest of our landmarks. In our poor, pathetic... Do I even have room for it? I don't. I don't actually have room for it. I'll put it right here. That's fine. It's getting a little crowded in here, guys. That will have a chance to drop cigarettes for Violet. So that's pretty good. Hattie McDougal is going to be required to drop some of these things. It's going to be an interesting balance trying to both unlock these characters and work on Lur. I actually think it's going to be better to focus on the characters first, although that does also involve fighting Lur, so that's difficult, that's hard. Thanks, what else have we got? Alright, defeating hounds, which I can immediately start on. Barbie dolls, which you need from the White House itself. That's gonna get some commentary. I can't build that yet, I'm just shy of it. And then you just have to have Mecha Hermes to unlock Violet. But generally, you're gonna work on Please, do not be frightened Dwayne first. Followed by Violet. And the whole way through, you're going to send as many of these guys as possible to work on their stuff. So you're going to have 24 hours to defeat Lur with each one of these streaks. If you beat it quickly, you immediately move on to the next streak. I don't know for sure how much health he's going to have at each level, although he is going to get significantly harder. He has 60 health at level 1. But, leveling them will make them easier, and I am going to go ahead and put a few levels into Lee Limon right now. Um, oh, I don't have my delivery chips anymore. Did I have robot chips? I do have robot chips. I'm going to put some more levels into Mecha Hermes, actually, first. We're going to put him up to level 15. Just to get more of his talents and things. And I'm going to put Lee 
also up to 15. Just to really see where it puts us, because I've got the cash for it. Been saving up. You are hereby conquered. And at those levels, they both do 30 damage. Um, which means, one, they can really start one-shotting some stuff as you level them up. They've had their uh, their damage really significantly boosted since last week. Putting both of those in would one-shot it. But we don't know if when he resets, if he's going to reset entirely, like as in going back to streak one, that might be a viable strategy depending on the levels of your fighters. Where sometimes in some games, fighting up a couple of streaks, letting it reset, and then fighting through those streaks again, sometimes is easier than fighting straight to the end and grinding. I don't know which one is going to be better yet, and we probably won't know for a few days just because of the way these fights tend to go down. Also, sometimes the streaks don't reset at all, and once you get to a higher level, it simply stays at that level indefinitely. Be sure to check out the wiki, the subreddit, or the discord. We're going to have a lot more information about those things as things progress. But for now, throw the guys at them as best you can because you are going to want to start collecting stuff and doing the rest of those quests. Um, but those are the basics. For the most part, it's going to be pretty standard to how the last weeks have gone, and it seems pretty doable so far. We'll see how this stacks up as the week progresses. Right now, I have eight delivery boys. I'll have nine once Violet is unlocked. Cowboy Kiff technically doesn't count as a unique character, since they're both delivery boys and you can't use them at the same time. But that's still eight unique delivery boys. There will be seven unique influencers. Bender counts as two of them right now. And that's right on par with seven captains. We really need more scientists. <laughs> they're way behind. Robots are kind of falling behind a little as well. Um, but scientists are just way underrepresented right now. I'm curious when we're gonna get some more of those. And then just overall, I'm hoping this week is pretty easy. I don't know what the trick or the catch is going to be yet. It seems relatively straightforward. Maybe the drops will be bad again. But I'm hoping that since it took them more than 24 hours past when they wanted to put this update out, that it will actually be a little bit easier than it has been in the past to catch everything. It sounds like there were some real difficulties in getting everything together, um, outside of the fact that there was a pretty nasty bug that kind of messed up the end of the Devo challenge that we had last time. Oh, speaking of which, he's now animated. So that's pretty great for a lot of people who were worried that he wasn't previously. But also, it sounds like there has just been some difficulty getting everything to line up on time in that like an approval process really slowed things down um i'm really hoping that tiny co gets a chance to work ahead and really kind of like get ahead of things on this because it seems like they're kind of flying by the seat of their pants a little bit also the characters have been kind of all over the place Last week we had robots, but the three robots we had were from three entirely different episodes. This week we have two mutants and Leela from an entirely different episode. And of those past five episodes, none of them have had anything to do with the Omicronians. The only character who's really fit in with the Omicronian plotline so far has been Free Waterfall Jr., who was eaten by Lur. I'm a little confused that an event about Omicron Percy I-8 has introduced so far nine different characters and costumes, only one of which actually interrelated with them in any way. I had actually guessed that potentially we might get a Leela costume, but my guess was going to be the single female lawyer, single female Leela, because that was the central plotline of the episode that introduced the Omicronian aliens. They came in and wanted to watch a sitcom, and Leela pretended to be the protagonist from that show, and distracting them would have been really directly relevant to the series. And it's okay that we are writing up our own version of things. We don't need events that perfectly correlate with events that were going on with the actual show. I mostly worry at the rate with which we are kind of picking the neat things from all of these individual episodes, having seen like seven or eight different episodes getting shuffled together into an event that they're not really related to, and I worry about that kind of hindering them as events go forward in the long form of this game. 
Maybe it'll be fine since when those episodes are the centerpiece of an event, you can still bring these costumes back, give people a new chance to get them, and then introduce new things around. So maybe it's fine that as the game is starting out, we're just kind of scattershotting and getting as many different characters as we can to just kind of really let everybody feel like this is steeped in the grand total lore of the Futurama universe in general. And as it progresses, we can narrow our focus in to really sort of getting into the nooks and crannies of the individual episodes of Futurama. So maybe that's the right way for it to go. Having Leela in may be a controversial decision. We'll see how that goes. Do you have Leela yet? Uh, if you didn't have Leela, would you have bought her costume? And do you feel left out for them having assumed that you've basically completed the game in order to participate in every single part of week three? Uh, I know a lot of you are probably feeling a little left out in the cold by not even having the opportunity to use this costume right now. Because her items were a heck of a grind to get. And if you've been trying to get them in the middle of this event, it's probably been a little hard going. But as it is, We've got less than 12 days left to finish out this entire event. Unless they make it really easy or add some extra time on there, it may be a little tricky. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Tell me how you're going. Are you all caught up? Are you still on week one or week two events? Get moving! The event is moving on without us, and we've even had an extra day of grind on the previous stuff to catch up. So maybe that was in your favor if you were running behind. That's going to be all for this one. Sound off in the comments. Bye for now.